but basically to go inside and look to upgrade the memory on this model you'll have to remove the following screws one two three four five six seven eight and then there's the ninth one up underneath here and the tenth one which is right here and then 11 and 12 so once you remove those screws then you'll remove the DVD optical drive here and you just gotta give it a little oomph and pull it right out because if you don't take that out you won't be able to pop the top or the bottom off of the laptop so and then to give you another pointer when you do pop it off there's going to be these little clips here here all I mean they're all around the whole edge so you're just going to take your time pop slowly I use this little pry tool to kind of get me started but actually um, you could start right here probably with your fingernails if you had a little bit of fingernails that were strong and start popping there and just kind of work your way around as well once you get that open you'll be able to see what's inside and make any upgrades that you desire and then just remember to put everything back like you got it and then slide the optical back in make sure it snaps and that's the screw there that holds the optical in place and then put the rest of the screws in and put your battery back in and then you're good to go after of course you tighten all the screws hope this helped This is the Walmart Hewlett Packard 15-BA015WM laptop. It's February of 2019 and this laptop was purchased about two years ago on a Black Friday in Walmart. And it's starting to get really slow. And I was considering upgrading the RAM. This is my son's laptop. And uh, looking on the internet. I got various mixed results saying it was either one bay or two bays or just wasn't quite sure what it needed so I popped the top to make sure before I placed an order to make sure I get the right thing. So I hope this video helps to see what's inside on this Hewlett Packard notebook slash laptop model.